Why? Her flowers are dead. They did it. They were beautiful while they lasted, and I loved them. <laughs> but now they're dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't kill them. You didn't kill them? No. Did you give them mouth to mouth? No. <laughs> Doing, Dave? Fixing your pot. <laughs> Fixing my pot. <laughs> okay. So these are the replacement pieces, apparently, for it, my. Oh, I already crimped it. <laughs> Sorry. For my um, electric canner. So, what do you want to tell us about those, Dave? About what? This is a just a 10 amp fuse, is all. Okay, talk to the camera. I don't want to talk to the camera. Talk to the camera. No. Yeah, David. I don't want to. Say something. Something. This cable goes. Want me to move this? Oh yeah, better. Uh, uh. Right. So how did you know when you went in there and opened it? How did you know which one was blown? Like, there's only you... one fuse. Oh, the, what are the rest of these? These are just wires. Oh, okay. To different components and everything. But oh, okay. So that's the only fuse. It only has one 10 amp fuse. Okay. And what it does, it plugs in here. Yeah. And then, oh, I should say it plugs this way. This plugged in there, and then this goes to here this this terminal see the polar okay okay it's screwed on there and when it's all connected so how do those two pieces hook together well as soon as i finish doing it i'll show you that's what it's for it comes when you open it up it'll be like this okay and so did it show anything like was it blown off or no i took a continuity check and then the thing's open okay so that's how you knew which one to yeah, pull because off if there's no resistance if you take a resistance check or continuity whatever you want to call it let me crimp that better uh there should be some kind of resistance through this fuse right okay if the fuse is blown which means it's open Okay. There is no resistance. And what do you use to test a, that? A meter. Okay. My little handy dandy meter. Okay, so if you didn't have a meter, would there be any way of testing it? Uh, not Can really. Can you stick it on your tongue or? <laughs> <laughs> well, you probably could. I don't know how well that would taste. <laughs> That's my engineer. Uh, but anyway. All you do is you get if you got a meter and you can do any kind of a ohms test, continuity test, whatever you want to call it, you know. But anyway, what you do is you uh, just hook it on one end to the other end, right? To the bitter end, and what it'll do is give you a reading. So you go to see it reads zero. Now if this is open or if this is if this fuse is blown, you won't. You'll get the same. It'll still say zero. Yeah, but see, see how it shifted there. Yeah. That's your resistance to that fuse. Okay. Okay. Now we're. What did I do with the old fuse? I was going to show you. So I put the fuse in here. These are from my previous jobs. Oh, okay. My previous occupation. But anyway. You put them in here, these are little shrink tube things. You put them in here, you crimp them down, okay? And then you have another one for the other side. You gotta trim this down so it fits over. And you can get it to fit over like that. Okay. 
Okay, what it does is protects it. And it's all crimped. And then you crimp this, the other end, like that. So this is what you'd have, if you can see it. You can't because your thumb's in the way. Well, I'm sorry, Hagnit. Do you want me to cut it off or what? <laughs> Could you? And it, it's going to end up like that. Okay. And it should be a connection. The okay. thing is, is, I don't know, you blew it last time. I don't know what the hell. Yeah, I don't know that I really trust it anymore. Well, I don't know why it, why it blew for sure. Well, I think it's because I did a cold start. Oh, maybe. And it couldn't take the prolonged heating uh, time that it takes to do a cold start. Is that not a normal thing? Well, it is a normal thing to do raw pack and a cold start, but apparently not with this canner. <laughs> Getting in your way, honey. I'm, so, I'm sure glad you're not a glad you're not the gun captain. That's all I gotta say. Now, see, I wouldn't be able to. Ouch. Careful, it's hot, honey. Thanks. <laughs> you sad? <laughs> he says, don't touch it, it's hot. And then he grabs it. I didn't grab it. <laughs> it slipped. There, see how it... Yeah. You can get it. You can see where it's bubbling there. Or not bubbling, but rolling up against each other. Oh, I can pull it off. I gotta make sure I get enough up there. To, uh... Come on. Careful, it's hard. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Okay, now that should... And you just... Skish it? Grip it. Which is skishing it. Which is... Yeah, there you are, I guess. <laughs> now, before I go any farther, what I'm going to do is take you take your meter again. Okay, and make sure that it's still working. And it's still... I'm going to watch this, I guess. I don't know how to... These probes, i got to get them changed. They're, they really suck. I'm not used to the little tiny short things. See? Yeah. It's still open. Well, good job, honey. So if it's closed, if it was closed, or then if you, you didn't blew have it, it connected right, right? Well, you blew the fuse. Or you blew the fuse. Okay. And then that'll open it up. And that's what the that's what fuses are for. I'm so glad that I have a guy who knows. I don't know nothing. about this kind of stuff because I don't know anything. I would have ended up just throwing it away, not knowing what to do with it, because I wouldn't have a clue. But my honey, him's pretty smart. Hard enough because I'm still broke. Poor. Still broke and he's still married to me, but. And he's burning himself. <laughs> what? Careful, honey, it's hot. I know it. I know it. And not like I haven't worked with this stuff before. I wonder how. Dave used to do electrical wiring on CAFS machines, which are compressed air foam systems that they use in wildland fires and fast attack machines for grass fires and stuff. He used to do all the electrical wiring on them. So he knows about that kind of stuff. Yeah, I forgot it all. He's so smart. Okay, so he's got it put in there and hooked up again. I don't know what he's going to do, but I guess the next step will be to test it and see if it blows up. I guess I should get him the power cord. Oh, interesting. That plugs right onto the power. Here's the power supply right here. And these three plugs plug onto there. I would never have been able to fix that. I'm so proud of my honey. He's so amazing. Okay. Here comes the true test. Is it going to come on again? Oh. oh! Yay! Yeah, but... 
Yeah, but do I trust it now to be a pressure canner? So that then is my ongoing saga with my Nesco electric canner. I'm pretty disappointed because it's not even two years old and it blew a fuse. And so here's what I think. So I did a raw pack. Um, and you should be able to do a raw pack with a canner. That's That's got to be an essential because, oh my goodness, if you can't do a raw pack. And I had done a raw pack once before and I had difficulty. I had, uh, it didn't, it didn't, uh, it did the same thing that it did this time where it, with this one, it, it didn't even reach a full head of steam. It wasn't, I didn't have my steady stream of steam coming out of it um, to even exhaust it for 10 minutes. So I started it again from hot and ran it all the way through. And that time it ran all the way through. But this time when I did that, it blew that fuse on the second half of it. And I'm sure that that's probably not what I want to do anyway. Hmm, it's always something. Anyway, where was I? Um, yeah, so do I trust the Nesco canner any longer for pressure canning? I don't know that I do. Uh, I think it would be fine for water bath canning because honestly, all you need to do in water bath canning is make sure that you maintain a rolling boil throughout the process of canning. You don't have to worry about the pressure, but pressure canning is a little different and I really don't want to be giving somebody botulism. And if that's going to happen when I pressure can, I don't know if that's a good idea. And, and you know, raw pack is a thing. Raw pack and starting with cold water is a thing, especially when you're, when you're pressure canning meat. From what I understand, I mean, I've never actually pressure canned meat because uh, well, I just never have. And now I certainly am not going to do it on, in this. No, I well, I did. <laughs> That's what blew it up was trying to pressure can hamburger. I was trying to pressure can some ground beef for the very first time and and it blew the fuse in my canner and so i ended up having to fry up i had to wait until it cooled a little bit and then i had to fry all that hamburger up um and then freeze it so i might as well have just frozen in the first place um <clears throat> so yeah i don't know what i'll do with that anyway i hope that helps anybody else who blows a fuse in their canner and like i said it does have other functions it does function as a pressure cooker um, which is a nice feature to have and it also can be used as a slow cooker which it never hurts to have another slow cooker around and can be used for brownie stuff can be used for making soups and all that stuff so I guess it's not a total loss and I, I can still use it for water bath canning I, I know that for sure because it will maintain a rolling boil uh, for a nice long time um, anyway but I'm very disappointed because I really, really, really loved my Nesco canner. And uh, now I just don't know. Pretty sure that I won't trust it for pressure canning uh, anymore, though. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a golden fairy will drop a canner on my head or something. I don't know. <laughs> We'll see. Anyway, thanks for coming and hanging out with us today. You know that I appreciate every single one of you, every single minute that you come and hang out with us. And I value your time. So take care of yourself. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.